Hey everyone, Rodev here, and today's video I'm going to be showing you guys all about explosions, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a really cool function that can spawn explosions any way you want, and you'll be able to customize that explosion, so let's get right into it. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is showing you guys the explosion object, so inside replicated storage, let's click plus and insert an explosion, and uh, basically we can uh, leave this as is um, for the name, but from there we can go to properties, and if you don't see properties, go to view and make sure explorer and properties are both on. And over here under properties, you'll see blast pressure. This is basically, um, as it says, the pressure of the blast. Uh, the max you can go is to infinite, which is that number right there in Roblox Studio. It's uh, pretty big, but yeah, this will create a very big, um, well, explosion. And for blast radius, um, I'm pretty sure, yep, 100 is max. And uh, you have different explosion types here. Um, you know, you can name it, obviously, that's in every object. This is the position, so this is actually where the explosion happens, and this is why the function is going to be important, so that the explosion will actually go to where it needs to be. And this is the time scale, so we'll look into that later. Alright guys, so um, now uh, what we do is we... Alright guys, so, all right guys, so now uh, we're going to be creating our script. Alright guys, so now we're going to be creating our script for actually spawning explosion, so let's get right into it. So in service script service, you can create a script. I'm going to name this one Explosion uh, Script and basically the first thing we need to do is get the uh, get the actual explosion object that we uh, put in right here and for that we can do local rs for replicated storage equals game clone get service replicated storage and then local um, explosion equals rs colon wait for child explosion and then from there what we can do is create our function so local uh, spawn or local function spawn explosion and then yeah just like this you want to insert an end with two brackets over here alright guys so from there what we can do is actually insert the parameters and it's only going to be one parameter it's going to be part and it's basically the part where the explosion will um, explode and I'll go into that uh, later so uh, now what we're going to be doing is doing explosion or local e for explosion equals explosion colon clone. So the first thing we do is clone this, so we're not taking the actual one. And then we do e dot uh, position equals part dot position. And you guys don't have to do this, I'm just going to be doing it. I'm going to type colon um, part right here. And there we go. This is just going to let studio know that it's a part. You guys don't have to do that. And right here we're just, gonna, we're just gonna type position, and then the explosion will move to where that part is. And then we do e dot parent equals workspace, or game dot workspace. They are the exact uh, same thing. I'm just gonna be doing workspace to keep it as normal. And now we're actually using the function, so I'm just gonna do like wait, like uh, three seconds after the game starts, and then and then what we're gonna do is spawn the actual explosion in. So spawn explosion. And then uh, we'll part. So for that, I'm gonna, for that I'm just going to create a part. I'm going to move it up in the air. I'm going to anchor it, and we'll be using that part. So uh, spawn explosion. Uh, now I'm going to show you guys how to create a variable for the part. Um, actually, instead of a variable, let's just go in here. And basically, what you want to do is workspace dot, and then where the part is. If it's under other stuff, like say it's like you place it here, then it's going to be workspace. So workspace over here dot spawn location dot decal uh, dot part as you can see it's right there and yeah that's basically how you reference objects and yeah that's how we're gonna be doing it so I'm gonna hit play and after three seconds the explosion will spawn on that part um, as you can see the blast pressure was a little bit high there uh, we're actually gonna tune that down to maybe like a hundred or actually it was fifty thousand originally um, so we're just gonna leave it at that and we'll see what happens after three seconds, it'll spawn it in, and there we go. That was a pretty normal explosion, and yeah. So yeah, that's basically how the explosion function works, and you guys can use it in your game anywhere, really. Um, you can do it, so you can take my kill brick video, and instead of um, killing the player, you can use the spawn explosion thing, and you can spawn the explosion on the kill brick, you can do it um, in all kinds of ways. You can use this function in all kinds of ways. That's the point I'm trying to get across. But other than that, guys, if this video did help you, please be sure to let me know by leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. And, you and you'll be able to see more videos of uh, this kind on you know your recommended page. 
Other than that, guys, I have a Discord server here. Be sure to go ahead and join it if you have any issues at all. Um, the comments will take time and stuff, but the Discord, I'll be able to, I'll be able to help you out instantly, so be sure to join that. And yeah, um, there, it's a friendly, it's a friendly community. You guys can come, uh, you guys can come in and hang out. Other than that, guys, it's Rodev. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Peace.